What is up fam, it is your boy 80 kz right here, back at the game again. Today, we have a legend right here. We have a masterpiece. Oh, you know what? I'ma let you with the trailer. Who was it that night? The rise of a legend. Travis Cobb gave birth to the legendary song. A song that everyone strived to make a similar one. A song that made a lot of people heal from their breakups. A song named Drugs You Should Try It. Okay, we're back. I hope you enjoyed the trailer, guys. Actually, this song deserved a special treat. Yeah, so that's why I did all of that. I know I'm crazy. So yeah, first of all, we're going to start by separating the tracks. So uh, as you know, uh, I have right here uh, the same track that is repeating all over. You know, I just duplicated it. But there's a trick when you duplicate. Uh, what what you add on the duplicated track is going to be happening to the original track so how to solve this problem is you come right here left click and you say make unique so when you click make unique this track is like uh, uh, unique or it's on its own you can edit it as you want so yeah if you can see right here the original track is not affected by what I'm doing right here so that's what I I'm trying to tell you so we've got right here the main vocals and we've got uh, these second ones which are going to be with a radio effect and we've got the dark vocals so you just come right here and don't forget to make every track unique and you just double click on one of them and you just drag the pitch down so you have a dark vocals so first of all with the first track of the main vocals we have autotune of course we've got the key C sharp and the scale is minor routine speed is above the medium yeah that's it and we've got the panometric EQ which is a little bit messy because this song this is, uh, with the three vo voice layers it's a little bit complicated so you have to keep your vocals like uh, uh, heard as much as possible or well I tried my best and I'm sorry for the mess right here so yeah we've got the compressor as I said last video you should pick a, a preset first then edit on it because that's a problem with FL Studio nowadays and yeah we've got the fruity squeeze which is a really good um, a plugin yeah so you can just copy my uh, settings yeah and just lower it from the knob it's important that you lower because it has a strong effect same as the hardcore we've got the stereo shaper with stereo wise 3 and then we've got the delay as you noticed i always do that i always reduce the effect from the knob and you can see the time and the feedback distortion and everything it's the delay model is stereo and everything so yeah that's all for the um, first track or first answered so for the second vocals that I told you about which are in the second insert of course the artist is going to be the same um, but the EQ is going to be at the radio effect right here we've got the blood overdrive you just come right here pick drive and that's what what is it gonna give you and we've got the hardcore with the preset first lead and try to reduce it as much as possible because it because it is a hard effect and we've got the stereo shaper stereo wise as always and we've got the delay I don't know why I use the delay 2 right here and the delay 3 right there but who cares yeah this is actually I think the same uh, yeah the same uh, setting the time is the third on the third point and you know we've got the reverb I think I didn't show you the reverb on the first insert so this is the reverb for the second insert we've got the wet all the way up 
and yeah that's it for the first preset as you see the reverb is right here so yeah right now for the dark vocals as i told you to do you should make it unique and just drag the pitch all the way down so you get the most darkest of your uh, vocals so yeah the answer three with the same autotune but i wow yes our speed is fast all right so we've got the blue of our drive big drive as always and just go down the way so and yes we've got uh we've got stereo shaper with stereo wise and we've got the panometric eq as i told you it's a mess i'm very sorry yeah just try to keep it as clean as possible and we've got the delay as you can see it's almost the same settings for all the vocal layers and vocal layers and we've got the reverb yeah that is the reverb where it is there's it off and that's it this is it for this video guys i just don't like to have uh, to make my video so long so you get bored so that's it for this video guys see you next video peace